Students in the Cowichan Valley skipped out of school today to protest district funding cuts. The school board is grappling with a nearly $3 million provincial funding shortfall, and kids don't want to see their education suffer. Kristen Robinson reports. If they want kids to be more active in the future, why are they cutting funds for gyms? We don't disagree. There are fewer dollars to go around, the provincial government tells us, and one of the years that they've made cuts is in the sports areas, particularly sports Dozens sports. of students in the Cowichan Valley take their education concerns outside of the classroom in an attempt to get answers from the school district. Why are they doing it? You'd have to ask the government exactly why they're doing it. Superintendent Dan Boudreau gets grilled in front of his office over the noon hour as his students stage a protest to school the district on how $2.5 million in budget cuts will affect them. I'm in the band program and uh, I really like the band program and if they cut all the funding, we're not going to have a band program anymore, so we won't be able to play music at our schools. We're out here to uh, make sure that our schools don't get completely closed down from budget cuts about all our classes, like the arts and the, for all the special needs. Support for special needs students, arts programs, and school bus service may all be on the chopping block as School District 79 tries to balance a $70 million budget with a huge provincial funding shortfall for the 2010-2011 year. I'd like them to know that uh, I think our trustees are doing as good a job as they can. It's a really difficult time right now across the province for school boards. Brian's <laughs> vlogging in the background. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> $2.5 million approximately, and it's a challenge. The board remains committed to a balanced budget, but says the decisions are painful. They're excruciating. <laughs> But there are areas that that we have to make uh, extreme reductions in that we're all, you know, feeling very, very dismal about it. If we don't give them what they need now, the safety network, the social network that they need now to become the best that they can be, we're going to have come into some serious problems later on. The students hope their voices will echo when the budget options go before a public meeting May 10th.